What's up MSFers, here's your January 25th recap. Tana says there's big bugs in Crucible. He points out that in Room 3, Stryker works on offense as well as defense. Now to me, that's how it read in the first place. Room 4, Hero Mutants revive with approximately 5% health. Now that's a lot easier than we thought it was going to be, and we're not sure if that's how it's supposed to be or if it's a bug. In Room 5, reduces resistance for every instance of bleed, not just characters with bleed like how it reads. And in Room 6, similarly, Every instance of bleed, offense, down, trauma, or disrupted, the Wakandan gets an additional 50% speed, making them ultra fast. Tana also talks about the blue ISO 4 and 5 Raider, which is broken, but I'd like to direct you to Dorky Dad's video, which we reported on a few days ago, gives a better thorough explanation of that. Hardgrave is trying to fix your mailbox, he talks about the quality of life issue that has been frustrating many players in the beginning of his video and goes on to go over the Agent Venom milestones. Boylan takes a deep dive into that event as well. We can expect to do two to three rotations in Blitz for fully engaged players and spending four to five hundred cores for the core section of that event. Now be sure to slow burn your cores in the beginning and wait for that secondary event to unfold at the end where you can get more value out of core spending. Reddit complains that you need to have specific teams to counter the specific defenses and asks where's the fun in that? Well. Let me tell you, there has been an absolute explosion of Cosmic Crucible content that hit the scene on YouTube recently, with lots of content creators showcasing a variety of different defenses and ways in which you can beat some of the standard defenses being shown. Not just Darkhold into the Wakandans, but yesterday we showcased Sexy Jegzy blowing them up with an Eternals Tangled Web team, and Mobile Gamer found the Gamma team absolutely crushes the Unlimited team in Room 4. I was lucky enough to stumble across that one myself. But my favorite piece of content had to come from Zubin, where he went head to head with Tadano Mac. Now, of course, these are two of the biggest, if not the biggest collection powers in all of Marvel Strike Force. Their roster breadth is something I could only dream of, but seeing the variety of defenses and offenses showcased in this video gives me lots of ideas for theory crafting in the future. If you're having trouble finding the diversity in Cosmic Crucible or you're just getting stuck on those standard teams, you really only have three choices. A, you can get good. Two, you can do what I do and find people who are good to help you. Or D, you can purchase some of these amazing offers. For more of the latest, I'm Ron Seven, bringing you yesterday's news today. There has been an absolute explosion of Cosmic Crucible event. There has been an absolute, whoops, that's the wrong one. There has been an absolute explosion of Cosmic Crucible content hitting the scene, hitting, that sounds stupid. And Mobile Gamer found the Gamma team absolutely crushed. I hate you, LDS player.